chance, at least one for the weekend. And this time of the year, we'll take it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Jen. Well, for most kids, it's just a part of growing up, sucking in their thumbs or pacifiers. So, which is worse? Deborah Daniels takes a look in today's Family Matters. It's an age-old debate. When should you take a pacifier away from your child? Two-year-old McKenna Chandler loves her pacifier, but her parents worry, will it hurt her teeth? I have noticed that her teeth are kind of have an arch in the front, starting to pull out a little bit from the pacifier. Dentists agree pacifiers can be trouble, but thumb sucking is worse. Because of the ease in which the pacifier habit can be stopped, if a child's going to have a habit, I recommend the pacifier habit. If your child can't kick the habit, don't worry. Most kids will drop the pacifier by three or four. I'm Deborah Daniels, and your family matters. Hmm. David Robinson, but what are they doing to land C-Web? We've got that right after this.